judge a book by its cover because they don't know that person. He's definitely somebody that you could be around all the time. He's actually 35 <laughs> years old and has been on this earth long and even people think he has been. That's where that's come from, that's wisdom. <laughs> we both have the same passion. We just show it in different ways. He takes off like he's jumping off a trampoline off of one leg. I mean, it's the most ridiculous one leg takeoff I've seen. It's crazy. I got a screensaver for you. No, he did His mid-range jumper is by far one of the best, you know, that we have, if not the best that we have in our league. Two dribble, pump fake, reverse spin, shot. Bryant spins, puts it up, puts it in. Y'all watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I study it. <laughs> oh, you like my look? Hey, I should tuck my shirt out. Shut that Kobe Bryant look on. Yeah. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, non-stop though. You know what I mean? Like it don't stop. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. Come on. <laughs> All that means is get the hell out of the way. <laughs> That's Brian, though. That's who he is, man. He just he just loves having a great time, laughing and joking. <laughs> You've been tricking me in five years. I figured it out now, Cole. You better change your signal. I figured it out. Uh huh. I right, so. ISO, yeah, I already told you what that is. Elbow ISO! There's a mutual respect that we have for one another. It's that level of respect that enables us to perform at a, at a high level when we compete against each other. Automatically, it automatically makes you better. LeBron hanging on to the ball with nine on the shot clock. He's way out of the left wing. Goes to the line, goes to the line, goes to the hole, left hand in your face. I'd be disrespecting LeBron if I didn't compete and go hard at him. Colby right corner, jab steps on James. James knocked it loose. Colby recovers. Three to shoot. Colby backs him down, spins. Buries it. A thing of beauty from Bryant. We're making each other better, and it's the respect factor that we have for each other. But at the, at the end of the day, we're all ultimate competitors. Yo, what you do, bro? I love you, bro. I love you too, bro. Uh, yeah, Here's a look at downtown Los Angeles from the air. We're coming to you live from the Staples Center. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche and Abia, a celebration of the amazing Latin culture in this league and its fans all around the globe. A great tradition we get to enjoy. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldrin. D.A., take it away. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. DA, thank you. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. They've got Anderson Verajao. Daniel Gibson is out there with Green. Then it's O'Neal. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. And for the Lakers, we've got Clutch. He's out there with Pau Gasol, and it's Farmar in at the point. And, you know, quite a bit of turnover for the Lakers in recent years, guys, from the front office to the coaching staff. I think it's always important for an organization to have a common voice to speak in stereo and have everybody in proper alignment from the top down to the court. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Pass to Bryant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
And as the Lakers have looked to fill positions, Clark, a real affinity for candidates with the Lakers history. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. They view it as a family, but here recently they've expanded their options and have looked outside of past Laker pedigree in terms of filling some key spots, which is part of what you have to do if you're going to move forward and be successful. And he knocks down the first one. And Brian is the total platinum level package. A lethal shooter, an exceptional defender, a flat-out assassin on offense, and most importantly, this guy's a leader, too. Both free throws good for Bryant. Oh, Clark, there's nothing like opening night. Preseason in the rearview mirror. Now the games count for real. Terrific time. Yeah, exciting for everybody because hope springs eternal for all teams in the league after you get beyond preseason, and the games do count. They start calculating and documenting W's and L's. Here's Farmar. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. For three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Down low. Here's Gibson. A rebound by Gasol. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Here's Bryant. The rebound by Gibson. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. James. Find him with the block. Yep, it counts. And it's Farmar with the ball for Los Angeles. Bryant looking over the floor. And it's sent back by O'Neal. To the paint. Here's James. The shot. No good. Some solid to hear from Bynum. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. It's tipped. Gibson with the steal. And he uses the glass on the layup. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Now here's Kobe. Fires from 14. But they get it back. Artest kicks to Kobe. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. Port Cleveland, they've gone 2 of 6 from the field. LeBron passes to Gibson. Floats it up for James. And you know, LeBron's a threat to score as soon as he touches it, Kevin. Such an aggressive offensive player with great skill. Green against Bryant. Inside, stolen by Verajan. Here's Green, and the Cavaliers getting another bucket right there. First quarter of play, we're about three minutes in. And the Lakers turn it over again. And looking at some numbers for Farmar, how he did last season. First and three-point field goal percentage, sixth in rebounding. And, of course, he was among the best in the league when it came to putting the ball in the basket. Top ten in scoring. And you're right. Not only did he dial it up from deep all year, he did it with tremendous consistency. That's the kind of three-point efficiency you want. Kobe against Green. Verizhaw grabs the board. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Now here is Verizhaw. Six on the shot clock. Takes a shot at the elbow. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but not now. Here's Farmar, defended by Gibson. Farmar dishes to Kobe. And 
and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. At the line for your Lakers, Kobe Bryant. And he makes the first. And the Lakers making a change here. Fisher's checked in, and the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. ABC's checked in for O'Neal. Poe comes in for Anderson Verzhev. David Wesley, he's checked in for Green, and it's Snow in for Daniel Gibson. Snow against Fisher. Passes it to Poe. To the middle. Pass to Ogowskis. Shot clock at six. Here's Snow. That one off the back iron and out. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Kobe. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Cleveland gets called for the foul. Mark, do you ever think we'll see a player coach in the NBA again? I don't think so, Kevin. The role is just so demanding. You know, it requires so much, and there's so much scrutiny now. I don't think I you can effectively play and coach in this day and age. No, I don't think you'll see it happen. Last one we saw was Dave Collins back in the late 70s, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. That's a long time ago, man. The Boston Celtics. Yep. Now here's James. Cleveland moving it around. The pass to Snow. It's Wesley on the wing. Ilgowskis, the pass to Snow. Let's it go from deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Lakers trail by six. Now Fisher. Kicks it to Bryant. It's deflected. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. No one near James as he lets it go. That one a little long. Bryant drives in. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. One thirty left here in the first quarter. And the dunk by Kobe. Boy, what a great athlete Kobe Bryant is. Man, watching him take flight and jam it down doesn't get much better than that. 122 left to play in the first quarter. Cleveland leading by four. And stolen by Fisher. Last break, the Lakers. Fisher's running and stolen by LeBron. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Offensive rebound. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Outside Bryant, pass to Bynum. Over Ilgowskis. Gasol trying to free himself up. Bynum, no good. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. James, good D by Gasol. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. And Kobe throws it down hard. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. Passes to West. Floats it up for James. Gasol with the steal. Kobe goes in and finish off by Bryant. And Bryant just a superb athlete. Terrific at just imposing his will on the defense on that drive. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. LeBron outside. And there's the foul. It's on clutch. That's his first foul. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Artest against LeBron. Six to shoot. Shot from the wing. The shot, no good. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Cleveland ahead, leading by just two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports.
And as we return, it's Noche Latina, celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. They've got Fisher. Powell Gasol is out there with the general. Then there's Brown, and it's Bynum in at the five spot. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now here's Odom over James. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Three-pointer, Snow. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And the defense, no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Cavaliers leading. Pass to Wesley. Here's Snow. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Gasol with the rebound. The Lakers shooting just 29% in this game. They are not a pretty side out there offensively. From 13. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And now it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast break teams from a season ago. The Lakers second. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Fisher against Snow. Lakers passing it around. Brown outside. Four on the clock. Here's Gasol. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. The Cavaliers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And it's James missing. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot-making is not happening right now. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. You take a look at the NBA. Who's the best, you think, Clark, at controlling the defensive glass, getting the missed most shots, and getting their offense back in gear? Yeah, I think even though he's a bit undersized, he does a great job. Draymond Green, not only does he rebound the ball defensively, but he also can ignite the break because of his ball handling and passing ability. Giannis Antetokounmpo does a great job on the defensive backboards, as does Joel Embiid. And the Cavaliers making a change here. O'Neal's checked in for ABC. Farajal comes in for Leon Poe. Green, he's checked in for LeBron. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Snow. Find him with the block. They get it back, but they recover it. O'Neal trying to break free, and there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, their last game a loss to the Bulls in Chicago. There's the pass to Fisher. And there's the feed to Gasol. And it's in off the backboard. Gasol's got the lead up to two now for the Lakers. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. And it's Wesley missing. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. The Cavaliers trail by four. 
They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And here are the Lakers. Good momentum, eight straight points. Pass to Odom. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Green. Outside Gibson. And there's the call on Derek Fisher. That is his first foul of the game. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Gasol with the block. And, and really, Gasol does an incredible job getting his hands up in the air, which results in a ton of rejection. Now, here's Gasol. Over Verichau. Gibson with the steal. Green kicks to Gibson. Connects from three-point range. Gibson's got seven points. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. And you look at him, he's given up an awful lot of size in that matchup, so he needs to have the ability to create separation. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. So he's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Timeout called Cleveland. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Cavaliers trailing. Right wing. O'Neal kicks to Gibson. Back to Green. Just five on the clock. Fires from the wing. That shot, no good. And the Lakers going the other way now. Outside, Kobe. That's good from 17 feet away. He's got 14. And they've had two completely different quarters. Field goal percentage just over 20 in the first, and they shot themselves out of that slump and have the lead here in the second. O'Neal and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Poe comes in for Anderson Verja. And it's LeBron in for David Wesley. And if you're going to give Brian a lane to the rim, then you deserve to get dunked on. You know how tenacious he is when penetrating inside. So it's the Cavaliers now. After the basket by Los Angeles. Back to Gibson. It's good. Gibson's got five points now in the quarter. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Walton. Poe grabs the miss. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Four-point game. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. And the Cavaliers with some changes. ABC's checked in for O'Neal. And it's Snow in for Daniel Gibson. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. 
and maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. LeBron outside. Passes it to Poe. Cleveland moving it around. Here's Ogoskis. It's over Powell. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Bryant. And Bryant slams it in. And Kevin, when he catches the hot hand, good luck trying to slow him down. Plays so under control, can spot up, drive, create for himself. A matchup nightmare. Cleveland's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And the dunk by James. When the lob is in the right spot for him, LeBron is never going to miss a chance to do something special throwing it down. Here's Kobe. Kobe can't get that one to fall. To the inside. With one on the clock. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Bernie Johnson, get me the jet. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave him a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. Looking at Cleveland, Jack, your thoughts? Well, they're definitely struggling with their offensive efficiency. Anytime you're shooting in the low 30s from the floor, you're not going to put yourself in a position. They look too predictable right now. They need to do a better job of adjusting to what they're seeing from the defense. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks, Thanks for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Tipping off the second half, here's John Beeline's five. Anderson Verashek is out there with O'Neal. And it's LeBron James. Then it's Daniel Gibson. And it's Green in at the two spot. The Lakers in the lead. And it's Bryant in the corner. Over Green. Again, the miss by Bryant. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. Seven-game road trip continues for them. That'll be game number three. Vera Zhao's shot is good. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. Here's Bryant, and finish off by Bryant. Bryant, sky high. The slam at home, always looking to stuff the style. The Cavaliers have gone one of three since starting the second half. LeBron up top, covered by our test. LeBron, good. James has got it all tied up now for the Cavs. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now, here's Gasol. Over Verizhao. Rebound by Anderson Verizhao. Verizhao's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Green, the pass to James. Over our test. James, no good. And for the Lakers, they're shooting the ball at 42%. Pass to Farmall. To the paint. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrants. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And the first one drops. Look, you were such a terrific athlete growing up, and it must be fun for you watching your kids and soon your grandkids go through their athletic journeys. It really is one of the great blessings and treats of my life to see our kids grow and develop as people, but also to enjoy different sports. Our boys played basketball and soccer, and our daughter played volleyball, all played in college at some level. And so it is great. Anytime you see your kids find their lane, enjoy running in it, and do well in that lane, it's um, joy in describing it gotta take care of the ball they'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless that's right and that's severe punishment right there exactly i mean when you're running neck to neck those kinds of mistakes tip the scale and the cavaliers call time here kobe bryant really making a difference here absolutely on fire that they need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his role making a change here. Wesley's checked in. O'Neal passes to West. Gibson up top. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And the thing about Verizal is he's always in the mix. Excellent at making things happen because he's scrappy and he never stops hustling. He makes one of two that time. Lakers leading by three. And here's Fisher. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Outside Bryant. Lock at six. Nice D from Verizon. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Gibson and Gasol sends it back. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assistant, Derek Fisher. And it's now 26 points for Kobe Bryant. The Cavaliers trail by five. Ball's knocked loose. And here's the fast break. Odom leading the way. Here's Wesley. Got a hand on it. Fisher with the ball. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Dishes it to Odom. Here's Gasol. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the long arms of Gasol wreaking havoc on the D. They, they don't know what to do with him when he's going up with a shot like that. A different look now for Cleveland. ABC's checked in for O'Neal. Poe comes in for Anderson Verja. And it's Snow in for David Wesley. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Los Angeles leading by seven. And stolen by Ogowskis. Fisher against Snow. He kicks to LeBron. Gibson, Gibson, Gibson. Floats it up for James. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Inside. And Kobe gets it to go. 
Kobe's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim as they challenged every shot. Also gotten quite a few blocks as well. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And guys, aggressive in, in, in creating his own shots, but thus far, they have not been falling. Probably a, a good time to try and devote some of that energy to getting others involved. Brown is checked in for Los Angeles. Here's James. Eight points for him. It's stolen by Brown. Now the Lakers on the break. And that one's good from Fisher. And now it's an 11-point Laker lead. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Cleveland. He dishes it to Gibson. Throw the pass to Augustus to stop the run. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Oh, I love that dish down low. Lakers leading by nine. Odom on the way. And there's the pass to Gasol. And it goes down two points. Gasol's got four points now in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Fisher, the pass to Gasol. Pass to Fisher. Feeds to Powell. And stolen by Ogowskis. Outside Gibson. Over Fisher. They grip their own miss. Here's Poe, and he drops in the layup off the glass. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 16-7 run. Powell dishes to Gasol. Green is checked in for Cleveland. Down low. The nine-foot shot. And it's off the back rim. No good. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Pass to Gasol. Lays it up and banks it in. Gasol's got eight. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, that man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that ball. Oda. The kick out to Brown. Let's the free fly. Goes up again. It's Gasol missing. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay-in. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers on top. They finish off the third quarter with a huge surge. An 18-7 run. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Powell Gasol is out there with the general. Then there's Brown, and it's Powell in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the Laker five, and they double up Gasol. 
It's rebounded by Cleveland. Pose got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Snow, covered by Vujicic. Snow, the pass to Augustus. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. Vujicic grabs the miss. Lakers leading by 11. Brown jams it in! Man, this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that guy. Here's Vujicic and the rejection by LeBron. This is what makes LeBron so special. He does it at both ends. Great tenacity on defense. For the Cavaliers, O'Neal comes in for ABC. And Anderson Verjao subbed in for Leon Poe. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Snow. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. A chance to check out Los Angeles' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, the Denver Nuggets will come into town. And then on Monday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Utah Jazz. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Snow. Yeah, I like the mindset of Canton, Ohio's Eric Snow. He's a tough-nosed defender. And he also does a really nice job quarterbacking his team. Here's Vujicic. Out to the wing. Here's Gasol. No problem on the jumper in close. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. James kicks to Green. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. O'Neal trying to break free. That one's in there. The Lakers' lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Green. Now Vujicic. Pass to Odom. Now Gasol. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Snow, the pass to Verja. Here's Snow. Outside, Green. Six on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Got a piece of it, but he stays with it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And Los Angeles with some changes. Walton comes in for Pau Gasol. And it's clutch in for the general. A switch here also for Cleveland. Gibson's checked in. Now here's Pau. Now here's Walton. Left side, Brown. I got yours, I got yours. Baseline J on the way, and it's Walton missing. The Cavaliers trail by 14. To the middle, here's O'Neal. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. It's Brown on the win. Here's Vujicic, defended by Gibson. Walton against Verizon. It's deflected, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Walton. That is his first foul of the game. Kobe's checked in for Brown. The Cavaliers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. James outside. Knocked loose. Gibson passes to James. On the wing, Green, guarded by Kobe. 
from deep. In the bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. Los Angeles leading by 12. And easy two points on the layup. Bryant's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called Cleveland. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Recognize our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to listen in on John Beeline's huddle with his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if we have enough to get it done. Thank you, David. Here is Bryant following the score by Cleveland. Knocked away. Stolen by Verizon. To the inside. Good, and it's Cream picking up the assist. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Here's Farmar, defended by Gibson. It's up a three. Cream's the three-pointer. Farmar's got his first three points of the game. No matter what the circumstance, he seems very comfortable letting it fly. And so here's Cleveland. Poked loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Our test against James. Outside Gibson. Just five to shoot. Uses the glass to finish the lane. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. Farmar passes to Bryant. And here is Bynum for Verichau. Here's Kobe. Good. Bryant's got 12 points here in the second half. You know, with Bryant's height and quickness, he can score very effectively down close to the rim. Very skilled inside. Now here's LeBron. Kicks to Green. The pass to Gibson. The tray. Rebound the Lakers. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Lakers. Yeah, this has got to be one of the most rewarding wins they'll have this season. They could have easily gone quietly, but they fought back so hard. They, they really did, and, and I think it shows a little bit of the character of this group, and that's a, a testament to them. When things seem to be their most difficult, they have a way of rallying around one another and looking to be at their best. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kobe Bryant. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. From deep green, that shot off. 
And so the Lakers take the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.